I'm here with head coach Toby Smith, who's got to be feeling pretty good right now. How do you feel after that Big Ten tournament? Pretty good, Natalie. Yes. I think uh, guys have you know, stepped up and showed a lot of pride. I think they earned some respect, too. And that was a, a big part of, uh, I think, our surge to, uh, to get to the Big Ten championship game. What else do you think is part of that surge? Belief in one another and just uh, believing in the system. You know, people sometimes have a tendency to, they try to do too much, you know, because they all are very competitive. All of our players, the coaching staff, we all have been part of winning programs. And, and all these young men have been uh, stars on their respected teams, high school teams, wherever they've been. And so what happens is a coach, you have to really control and, uh, and, and kind of guide them, uh, knowing when to allow them to, to uh, and how to use their talent. So I think that's been a big key. If we resolve some issues, I think the issues that were hanging out there with eligibility, with Al, and so DeVoe has evolved into a, a solid point guard, a good leader. I think Damian Johnson, um, Lawrence Westbrook, and Devron Bostic, you know, like, you know, three tri-captains have really stepped up and done a good job internally within the team. Now, how have you put a lot of that, kind of harnessing them in, to play here on court, especially during practice today. Well, it wasn't. You know, it's it's easy now. Mm -hmm. You know, it's time because they're you know they're excited. Mm -hmm. You know, the energy level is high. You know, you know they're focused because we you know, we're going to the dance. We know we play a very good Xavier team. So, uh, but still, we you have to. Uh, we tell them moderation. You don't want to get too high now because the game is still three days away. So you want to be peaking at the right time. We don't want to leave it on the court. We want to make sure they're fresh, their legs are fresh, and that they're and that they're hungry. So, but practice is going well. Now, how are you going to keep them fresh after coming off of so many games in just a few days and, and going into another tournament? Well, we went pretty intense today, so we'll back off the next few days. We'll probably just do a lot of walkthroughs and a lot of shooting. Uh, just try to get mentally uh, uh, refreshed and uh, rejuvenated. And then because, uh, you know, the adrenaline will kick in again and help us physically. Uh, so th that's why we have to be careful uh, that they're not – and limit our distractions. I think that's an important you know, part of it too because the, the hype surrounding being in the, in the big dance and going to the NCAA can, can take something out of you also. Uh, so we have to let them know, be careful. I know your family members are calling, friends are calling you. you Make sure you're getting your proper rest and, and, your, and eating properly. Now, what uh, are you expecting to see out of Xavier on Friday? Well, Xavier's going to be a, a team that uh, they're a very talented team. And Jordan Crawford, he started for Indiana before he transferred to Xavier. And now here he's player of the year in Atlantic 10. They have a big center in, in, in Love, who's 6'9 and about... 265, and they come off the bench with a kid by the name of Kenny Freeze, who we recruited at Kentucky. He's seven feet tall, about 275. So they're very big, they're very athletic. They really can score in bunches. They're the, they're the leading. They be the leading scoring team in the in the Big Ten. They average 80 points a game. We only average 73. And um, you know they're one of the top rebounding teams in the Atlantic 10, you know, plus six on the board. They really get to the free throw line, so they are as talented. That's why they are six seed, mm -hmm. and we're an 11 seed because right. they are, uh, and they're very uh, deserving of that seeding. So we're we're an underdog, and we've got to play a lot better and, uh, and play pretty hard in order to compete with, with Xavier. Now, speaking of seeding, do you think that you would have gotten into the Big Ten, excuse me, the NCAA tournament, had it not been for the win over Purdue? I don't think so. I thought we had to go. Going in, I thought we were going to have to get to the championship game and win it. And that was our goal. That was every team's goal going into the, the Big Ten tournament in Indianapolis. Uh, fortunately, we played well against a good Penn State team. We bounced back. And I thought the Michigan game, Michigan State game, prepared us extremely well for Purdue because they're a very physical uh, we had to go overtime. We really had to ex extend ourselves beyond what we thought we were capable of doing. So now you come back and, and we let them know that 
Purdue would be even more aggressive and more physical, and I thought we were mentally ready for that. And that, that surge helped us play extremely well and got off to a great start against Purdue. Uh, you know, albeit that we played against Michigan State without Chris Allen, who had, who had hurt us every time he played us, and without Robbie Hummel, Purdue. And then I thought, you know, against Ohio State was just too much Evan Turner. He's such a talented player. Uh, and they just, uh, we just sort of hit the wall after three days of basketball. Now, you guys are busing to Milwaukee. What are you guys going to do for fun during that bus ride? Who knows? We'll probably have a little party, watch a few <laughs> films, a little sing-along. You know, we'll do a few things, I'm sure, that we'll... Uh, Sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, anyway, it's a good long trip. I don't think I've been on a bus trip that long right. in years, but that's part of the new NCAA right. rules as far as playing. Uh, you know, I'm sure it's uh, cost-cutting measures. Mm -hmm. Uh, so teams can get, but but we're excited. I'm sure we'll have a great crowd in Milwaukee. We're not that far away, and but then again, we'll have a few people rooting against us from the Wisconsin area. Mm, this is true. <laughs> That's what worries me. Right. So you're going to need those earplugs for on the bus, and also once you cross the border into Wisconsin. Yeah, probably so. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Coach. Good luck to you. It's going to be a lot of fun watching you guys. Thank you, Natalie. Absolutely.